Okay, so that was very lovely. What I've put on the screen is the poster, and this is a gift for Cam. And I really want to thank Cam for um, inviting me and giving me the opportunity to kind of split all these things over four episodes because there's so much for owners to know about yeah. so they can ask the right questions. So yeah. I feel it's really important. This is from an owner's perspective. Um, and it kind of covers all the questions that they've been asking on your other sites as well. So hopefully yeah. we've covered most things. And I think oh, I'm following... Yeah, following on from episode three, canine therapists, there's a huge, huge, wide range of clinical techniques. And therapists have a clinical therapeutic toolbox. And depending on their scope of practice and their experience and their CPD journey, they will have different tools in their toolbox to access. And they're gonna use a wide range of clinical tools as part of their techniques um, because they're, they're all about delivering a high quality service for the dogs in their care. So this is where I want to think about the breeds. Now, if you think of, you know, a wonderful little chihuahua who thinks they're really big because they've got big personalities, but they're very yeah. small. And then you think of a Newfoundland and the coat of a Newfoundland. Think of a wonderful, biddable black Labrador retriever who might be a working breed. And then you're going to look, so you're looking at the different breeds that are really popular for your area. And that, that will be different depending on what country you're in, yeah. what region you're in. But Definitely. the key thing is dogs have more conformational differences and head conformational head shape differences than any other species. So mm. we need a huge range of tools for all the different dogs 